It's, it's stirring stuff. Now, at the end there, I urge you to go to ColbertPack.com. And in just the first 12 hours after that ad was first shown, 25,000 of you did just that without any idea of what you were getting into. <laughs> the exact same approach I take to prescription drugs. <laughs> now, at this point, some of you may be wondering, what is Colbert Pack? Well, get in line, because I have no idea. <laughs> All I know is being a pundit these days is not enough anymore. If you want to be a political player in 2012, you need a pack. Look at my fellow pundits over at Fox News. Sarah Palin has Sarah Pack. Mike Huckabee has Huck Pack. <laughs> Huck Pack, by the way, I believe is Klingon for out after Iowa. <laughs> Huck Pack. But folks, I have clearly, I have clearly got to get a pack. But again, I have no idea what packs do. Here to tell us what they do is the former chairman of the Federal Election Commission and general counsel for the McCain campaign 08, Trevor Potter. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Potter. Okay, sir. I'm all set here. Okay. Okay, sir. Let's start with some basics here. What is a pack? It's a group of individuals who get together and raise and spend money to elect or defeat a candidate, sometimes by contributing to them directly, sometimes by taking out television advertising independently to talk about them or issues that the PAC is uh, focused on. Why, why would you form a PAC? Why wouldn't I just give money to a candidate? You can give money to a candidate, but the amount you can give is limited, and in many cases, uh, if you say the Sierra Club or the NRA or doctors or nurses, they may only be giving small individual amounts, but if they can contribute to the pack, put it all together, they then have a lot more money to make a bigger noise if they want to uh, contribute or take out advertising. Okay, so can, any, can anybody create a pack? Can I make my own pack? You can. Okay, and, and let, let's talk about the different kind of packs that we can make. I've got the actual, this is the actual legal form for, for making a pack here. <laughs> Statement of organization, we would call it uh, Colbert Pack. Right. Okay, and then email address would be, I don't know, like big and pimpin at colbertpack.com, <laughs> something like that. Uh, but -da -ba -da -da. okay, there are different kinds. There's, 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 we've got candidate committee, party committee, political action committee, and joint fundraising representative. If I, if I wanted something like what uh, Mike Huckabee has, or Sarah Palin has, which one of these would I, would I be wanted to do? Well, I'm not sure it's on that form, but what you want is a what they call a non-connected pack. Oh, there's a non-connected committee right there. There you is go. That it? That's it. A non-connected committee. So what, why do I want that? What, so what does that mean, non-connected? Well, that means that it's not formed by a corporation or a union, but it's formed by individuals. And you can form it. You can go out and solicit contributions from the whole world. Mm -hmm. And then you can spend that money on politics. Can I spend it on other things besides politics? <laughs> like, let's say if I'm Sarah Palin and I got a couple of million dollars in my pack there, can I use that to like take private jets to go someplace? You can. I can. <laughs> no, you say I can use this this money for advertising also. Mm -hmm. Does the person I'm advertising for? have to agree to me advertising for them? Or could I use my money to advertise for a candidate who doesn't even want me to advertise for them? Even if they want you to do it, they can't agree to it. You have to do it independently. So I can't ask them whether they want me to. I just have to pick a candidate and do ads for them. Right. And I can use that PAC money for that, too. Yes. It's brilliant. <laughs> Is there anything, any reason I wouldn't want a pack? Well, uh, you would want to be careful if you had a pack. Yes, let's say you, if I had a if pack. If you had a pack, <laughs> that you complied with all the rules, filled out all the forms, uh, filed them with the Federal Election Commission, uh -huh, because uh -huh. if you didn't do that, yeah. then you'd be responsible for breaking the law. Uh-huh. You wouldn't want to do that. No, I wouldn't want to do that at all. Do a lot of people go to jail for breaking the law with their packs? No. How, can you name anyone who has gone to jail for breaking the law with their packs? Not a person. <laughs> That's my kind of law. <laughs> All right, folks. What do you think? Do you 
Do you want your voices heard in the form of my voice? Yeah! Do you, the Colbert Nation, want to be players in the 2012 campaign? Do you want to receive spam emails asking for five, ten, or fifteen dollars? Those cheers are legally binding. That's it. Colbert Pack is gonna be real. We're gonna do it. Trevor Potter, thank you so much. Trevor Potter, former chairman of the FEC. We'll be right back.